Hello everyone, my name is Heather with Protect Your Boundaries and welcome to our video on how to use your land survey plan. Today we are going to talk about the importance of land survey plans and why it is such a valuable resource for homeowners and property owners. A land survey plan reveals many essential details about your property and knowing how to use it effectively can help you plan the proper use of your land and make sure you're abiding by any municipal bylaws. Before we go any further, it is important to note that if you're planning to renovate, landscape, or build on your property, we at Protect Your Boundaries always recommend hiring the appropriate professionals to ensure the job is done correctly. An OLS, or Ontario Land Surveyor, is the only professional qualified to give an official opinion on your property boundaries. So if you are about to spend a lot of time and a lot of money on a project, make sure you are consulting with the right professionals before you begin. Now this video is meant to guide you through the process of understanding your land survey plan so that you can better navigate your land. Let's start by breaking down the components of a typical survey. It might seem overwhelming at first glance, but understanding what each part represents is a really good place to start. First, let's look at the title block. This section provides information about the legal description and the type of survey that has been prepared. The scale and the legend explain the scale of the map and the symbols used on the plan. You will also find property boundaries, these are the thick, dark lines that show the extent of your property. You may also see easements and right-of-ways. These indicate any legal rights that others may have to use a part of your property. You may also find structures on your property. The locations of buildings, fences, and other permanent installations may be shown on your land survey plan. Let's talk about identifying your property boundaries. With a legal land survey, or SRPR, estimating your property boundaries can be a pretty straightforward process. Here's what you'll want to look for on your land survey plan. First, locate the thick, dark line that represents your property boundaries. It is a closed line with no breaks and no gaps. Next, you will want to find the buildings and structures on your plan. Use these structures as a reference point when locating your boundaries. Lastly, you will want to find the setbacks. These are the measurements between structures on the property and the boundary lines. With these three things and a tape measure, you can get a rough estimate as to where your boundary lines are located. Now let's touch on easements and rights of way. If you're looking for an easement on your survey plan, it is important to know that easements are not always illustrated on them. If you've been informed that there is an easement on your property but do not see it on your plan, the best way to confirm its location is through a PYB property report or a PYB easement report. You can also refer to your property's full legal description or check the property's parcel register. If your plan does show an easement, you might see a phrase like easement in instrument followed by a number or right of way abbreviated as ROW, often marked out by a dotted line. There are two types of easements that you will most commonly come across on your land survey plan. The first is a right of way. This allows a neighboring property to use a portion of your property or vice versa. The second is a utility easement. These provide access to hydro, phone, and internet infrastructure. Using your land survey plan is also essential when planning new structures or landscaping your property. Professionals will use your existing land survey plan to make sure any new work is completed within the boundary lines. An architect or a contractor may also use your plan to make sure any changes comply with the municipal zoning laws. A landscaper can use your plan to make a design that considers topographic features and property boundaries. It is worth noting that most existing survey plans do not include topographic features. When it comes to real estate transactions, land survey plans are often required. Mortgage lenders may ask for a survey plan to approve your loan, and even if they don't, it's probably a good idea to locate a survey plan before purchasing a property. Knowing where your property lines begin and end are crucial for in protecting your investment. Lastly, survey plans can be incredibly useful in resolving boundary disputes with neighbors. Sometimes there can be a disagreement about where property lines are. Having a land survey plan on hand can help clarify any boundaries and ideally avoid any legal issues. Using a land survey plan effectively involves understanding its components and applying the information in practical uses. While a land survey plan is an important legal document, consult any professionals for complex issues or legal advice. For more information, on any of the topics discussed today, please visit the Protect Your Boundaries blog or our website at www.protectyourboundaries.ca.